What is up future millionaires? It is your boy Mike the Investor and in this video I have a complete tutorial step-by-step -step guide on how to stake the BTT token. So before we get to the staking part there's quite a few things that we have to do. So what we're going to cover in this video we're going to dive into what is the TronLink wallet. Secondly we're going to dive into how to set up the TronLink wallet so we can get to the staking part. Thirdly, I'm going to show you how to convert Tron into BTT so we can get to the staking. Fourthly, I'm going to show you where to actually stake your BTT or should I say your RAT BTT tokens. Fifthly, we're going to dive into how to actually do it in real time and then we're going to do a quick recap on everything that we covered in this video. So before diving into it, definitely consider grabbing you some free Bitcoin by using the Voyager and BlockFi link down below and let's get ready to dive right into it. All right, crypto investors, welcome back to the channel. Now there are timestamps down in the description and also the platforms that I'm gonna be showing you. The website link is in the description as well. So let's go ahead and dive into briefly what exactly is the TronLink wallet. So we are on tronlink.org and you can download this on Android, iOS, or you can also use this as a desktop extension. I currently use the Brave browser and you can also use it as an extension for the Brave browser. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video. So this app is very versatile. Like I said, you can use it on the mobile app or you can also use the desktop version. I use both of those just to have the flexibility. And also the TronLink wallet is one of the most recommended Tron mainnet wallets also where you can receive your airdrops as well. So if we briefly scroll down, we're gonna see this is one of the most secure asset management wallets. I'm not gonna read this, but I just wanted to show you if we scroll down one more time, it is one of the most well-rounded uh, wallets as well. As you can see, the second part here, you have the support resource for freeze and unfreeze. And I'm going to be showing you that in this tutorial. And then the last thing, of course, it is very convenient because not only does it have the desktop extension, it also has the mobile app as well. So in a nutshell, that is what the TronLink wallet is. And if you're thinking about how to get the new Ape NFT airdrops, this is one of the wallets that you will be able to get those NFT airdrops on. All right. All right. So now that we know what the TronLink wallet is, let's go ahead and get to the setup part and some things that you have to do inside of this wallet. All right. So once you get it downloaded on the mobile app or you're using a desktop extension, what it's going to have you do, let's jump on a laptop here briefly. We're going to pull up the extension here. I already have it downloaded. And what you want to do is you want to create a name for this TronLink wallet. And this can be anything. This can be, you know, the BTT uh, member or the BTT queen, whatever you would like to name it. So you're gonna name it that. And then once you name it that, as you can see here, what you wanna do is create a password for the TronLink wallet. That's all you have to do, it is that easy. Once you create your password, it's gonna give you your 12 random words, which is your secret phrase, which holds the uh, basically your access to your private keys. So you definitely wanna write this down in the exact order that it is given to you, and you don't wanna reveal this to anyone. Once you write that down, you're gonna hit the continue button, and it's gonna have you enter that 12 uh, random key phrase back into uh, your TronLink wallet. And that way your wallet will be secure and validated that you are the owner. And so from that point, your wallet will look like this. I'm gonna to go to the next page and show you what your TronLink wallet will look like once you do that. Okay, so now that we have the TronLink wallet created, let's go ahead and set this up so we can go ahead and utilize this for staking. All right, so whatever name that you created, it's gonna have the name at the top here. This is just my test wallet, not my main TronLink wallet. I have the public address. I have no money in this wallet yet, but we will add some here a little bit later. And you can see I have bandwidth, I don't have any, and then I do not have any energy as well. Now you may be confused like Mike, what is bandwidth and energy? I'm gonna explain this, so stay with me. All right, so as you can see here, we have the receive, we have send, vote, freeze, and swap. And of course, it's gonna have the TRX. Now, if you hit this plus button here, this is gonna give you the ability to add other cryptocurrencies to this wallet. So if I hit the search bar, it's gonna give you the trending. So of course, you have Tether, BTT, you have the Wing token, uh, the JST token, the Sun token, you know, so forth and so on. All right. That's just if you wanted to add other cryptocurrencies, okay? And so what we're gonna do is if you hit the receive, of 
course, it's going to give you the QR code, your public address, or you can copy it to your clipboard, which is pretty self-explanatory. And then you have the send button, which it has your public address here, which is where your TRX or whatever cryptocurrency you have in the Tron Link wallet, where you're sending it from. And then the receiving account is going to be the address that you're sending that cryptocurrency to. All right. Just like any other cryptocurrency wallet, pretty self-explanatory. So now we're not going to look at the vote option. We're going to look at the freeze and the swap option. Okay, real quick, I want to cover three things that you must always have in your Tron Link wallet to utilize it. Because anytime you're sending, receiving, or taking cryptocurrency out of that wallet to maybe stake it or anything like that is going to require energy, bandwidth, or TRX, which is Tron. And that's why you will see the bandwidth and energy in the Tron Link wallet. And I'm gonna show you how to obtain that as well. So you wanna always have TRX available and you always wanna have bandwidth and you always want to have energy and the reason being if you try to do a transaction and you don't have enough bandwidth or energy and you don't have any trx available the transaction will always fail so if you ever dealt with this situation and your transaction won't go through make sure you have energy make sure you have bandwidth and make sure you have trx available and the reason being let's go ahead and jump back on the tron link wallet here briefly so as you can see here I have my bandwidth, which I don't have any here, and I have my energy, okay? So if I click on Tron here, you're gonna see I don't have any. It's gonna show you the available balance, and it's gonna show you the frozen balance. So I don't have any frozen, I don't have any in my available balance, and I don't have any at all, okay? So for us to obtain uh, bandwidth and energy, you first must have TRX in your Tron Link wallet. And so I want to just show you what happens if you try to obtain energy and bandwidth before you have TRX. So what you want to do, all you have to do is click on this freeze button and it's going to open up another tab and take you over to tronscan.io, which is the Tron blockchain. So now we are on tronscan.io. At the top here, it's going to have your public address. All right. And so as you can see here, I don't have any frozen TRX. I don't have any energy obtained no bandwidth and no TRX. So you can see here, I have obtain and I have rent. And if we briefly go down, you can see it has for personal use, for other users, and we have from other users. We want to stay on the for personal use, all right? And so if I hit the obtain, because we don't want it written, we want to obtain this, you're going to see it's going to give you a message and it says you need at least one TRX to be able to freeze because when you freeze your TRX, that is how you obtain your energy and bandwidth. And don't worry, I'm going to show you. All right. So stay with me. So first things first, what we're going to do, let's go ahead and pull back up our Tron link wallet. So it's just an extension. You can pull it up on any web page that you're on. All right, so now I have my Tron Link wallet back pulled up and I have some TRX just sitting on my Atomic wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and send some of that over to the Tron Link wallet so that way we can start utilizing it. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just click inside of the uh, cryptocurrency Tron or I can just do receive, but I like to click inside of it here and then do the receive. That way I know I'm doing the exact cryptocurrency. So now you can see I can either do the QR code or I can do the uh, copy to clipboard. So I'm I'm going to go ahead and copy this and now i'm going to go over to the atomic wallet here briefly and i'm going to just show you this in real time as well so let's go over to the atomic wallet I have my atomic wallet pulled up. You can see I have a little Tron in here, about 53 TRX tokens. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the send button and all I'm going to do is send 50 TRX over. And you can see down here, it's going to give me the network fee on the Atomic Wallet. And it's going to give me what it comes down to in USD. And I'm going to click the pencil here. And the reason being is because I want to actually paste it in myself. So that way I know the uh, public address is correct. So now I'm just going to copy this in. This is going to be the same wallet. And before I do this, if I want to just double check, I can double check this. So I'm going to go back over to one of the web pages. And you can see if I validate just the last four, CPGT, let's go back to the Atomic Wallet. You can see CPGT. Now we're just gonna send the 50 TRX over. Now you have to put your password in, of course, to uh, validate this uh, transaction. So let me do this briefly. Once you have your password in, you just hit the confirm. And now it's gonna send over my 50 TRX. Now you don't have to use the Atomic Wallet, but the Atomic Wallet is a place you can acquire 
Tron. There are multiple ways that you can use to actually acquire your Tron. And then real fast, I also did a video on how to actually buy the BTT token whether you live in the United States or if you live outside of the United States. And those ways you can also use for the Tron token if you're wondering how to acquire. So I will place a card up right here and you can check that video out after this one ends. But let's jump back into it. And as you can see, I have my 50 TRX sitting here. And let's go back one more time. And you can see it has now refreshed. So you can see I already have bandwidth. And what we want to do is acquire some energy so now that we have trx in my wallet if i click here you can see it's going to show you my available balance and it's going to show you i have zero frozen okay and so what we're going to do is hit the back arrow and now we're going to hit the freeze so that way it can take us back over to tronscan.io but since we already have the tab open we don't have to hit freeze so we're just going to go over here and now we're going to hit the obtain button one more time and you're going to notice we are not going to get that message because it is going to register that we now have trx in the tron link wallet all right so we're going to hit obtain and now you can see i have my available bandwidth of 5000 and you can see i have my tp which is tron power and we have available energy so you can see you have a quick drop down right here so tron power and bandwidth and you can see i can do the max amount which is all 50 tron i'm not going to do that and you can also see you got to hit the i confirm to freeze zero trx at least 72 hours right now it's showing zero because i don't have any here so if i hit 10 you're going to see this is going to change because when you uh freeze your trx you have to have it on the blockchain for at least 72 hours so if you're doing a large amount and you think you're going to need that trx definitely don't do that because you have to lock this up for at least 72 hours now all the energy and bandwidth that i have uh obtained i'm just currently adding to that that way i can always utilize my tron link wallet all right so if you hit the drop down here briefly you're going to see you can do tron power and bandwidth or you can do tron power and energy all all right, so anytime you get bang with an energy, it's going to have Tron power that goes alongside it. So first things first, what we want to do, we want to grab some energy. So we're going to hit the drop down and I'm just going to exchange 10 energy and that's going to give me 296.658 energy. OK, and so this is my public address that it's going to. So I'm going to hit I confirm and we're going to hit freeze. And now when you do that, because this is a Chrome extension, you have to hit accept or reject. So that way you can sign for the transaction. So let me bring this down a little bit and you can see request signature. Tronscan.io is requesting you to sign. So that way we can validate that transaction. So I'm going to hit accept. And you can see successfully frozen 10 TRX data will update takes about one minute. Now, typically it's faster than that. So we're going to hit OK. You can see it's already updated. I have 10 TRX and now I have 296 energy obtained. So let's briefly uh, pull up my Tron link wallet again. And you can see the energy has not yet updated. So what you want to do, you can go right up here to the refresh and you can see now it has updated. So I have bandwidth as you can see it took away some of that bandwidth to do that transaction and you can see here is the energy that is now here so now that i have bandwidth and energy once i click on trx now it's going to show you i have 40 available out of my 50 because i am freezing 10 of those to get that energy so hopefully that makes sense so remember you must have trx you must have bandwidth and you must have energy so now that we know what the tron link wallet is we know how to to set it up how to get your bandwidth and energy so that way you can utilize different transactions inside of the tron link wallet now let's go ahead and go to one of the DeFi platforms so i can show you how to convert tron into btt or other cryptocurrencies okay so this website is called justswap.org remember the websites are down in the description as well and so what you're going to do you can see it already has my balance here uh, registered because all of this operates from your chrome extension the tron link wallet okay and so as you can see here i have from and you have the to button so if you hit the drop down this is going to show you every cryptocurrency that i can convert my tron 
into. So I can convert it into Bitcoin, the Sun token, Rap Bitcoin, Ethereum, Wrapped Ethereum, Wrapped BTT, Wrapped TRX. We have the JST token, the Wing token as well, Dice, Live, Tether, and a few other cryptocurrencies as well, like Litecoin and a few other stable coins. So what we're gonna do, if I wanna get Wrapped BTT, what we're gonna do is hit the Wrapped BTT now. And so as you can see, if I hit one TRX, you can see one TRX is going to get me equivalent to about 19 RAT BTT tokens. Now, RAT BTT tokens, uh, don't get confused. RAT BTT tokens is just one to one peg to a normal BTT token. It has the same value and the same quantity amount. And the reason why you have to pretty much convert it into RAT BTT is so that way you can utilize it on DeFi platforms like I'm gonna show you in this video. All right, and I'm also gonna show you how to convert RAT BTT back to normal BTT as well if you're wanting to maybe transfer to another wallet or maybe take profits down the road. Okay, so I'm gonna do a small transaction and convert some TRX into some RAT BTT so I can show you how to stake this a little bit later. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna convert 15 Tron, which is gonna give me about 287 RAT BTT tokens, all right, which is the same equivalent to regular BTT. So what we're gonna do now is hit the swap, but before we do that, it's gonna give you the liquidity provider fee that you're gonna to have to pay in TRX. So you're also gonna have the minimum amount received. So even though it says estimated 287, this is the minimum that you know you will receive, which is pretty cool. And if you hit over the graph, it's gonna give you what the current price is that BTT is going for. So what we're gonna do is hit swap. And it's gonna show you the same exact thing for you to confirm it. I'm uh, doing 15 TRX. That's gonna give me approximately 287 RAT BTT. We're gonna hit confirm swap. And then once again, it's gonna come up with the request signature. So that way we can actually validate and say, yes, we want to do this. So we're gonna hit accept. And now you're gonna see it's gonna show pending and it should go through and as you can see, swap is completed. Let's hit close here. And if I just pull up my Tron Link wallet, and if I hit the refresh, you're gonna see it's not there yet. And the reason being is because we have to now add this cryptocurrency into the Tron Link wallet. So what we wanna do is hit the plus sign. And now what we want to do is go over to my assets. And as you can see here, I have my wrapped BTT, my 287 wrapped BTT. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. And then I'm going to add the normal BTT as well. And the reason being is because anytime I want to go ahead and convert my wrapped BTT to the normal BTT, I already have my wallet here available for it. Okay, so now that we know how to transfer Tron into other cryptocurrencies that run on the Tron blockchain, I'm going to briefly show you you how to convert RAT BTT into regular BTT and how to convert BTT into RAT BTT. It's very easy, so let me briefly show you how to do this. All right, so if you stay on the Just Swap uh, website, you can see you have the RAT TRX and you have the RAT BTT. So if you just click on RAT BTT, it's going to take you over to just.tronscan. And as you can see here on the left, it's going to give you BTT convert to RAT BTT. And then on the right, it's going to give you RAT BTT to BTT. And as you can see, it already has my RAT BTT balance. And I can actually convert this if I wanted to into the regular BTT. So don't be, you know, afraid to convert back and forth to utilize these different staking platforms so now let's go ahead and go over to sun.io is where all the magic happens now this website is also connected to another website that i'm going to show you as well so as we scroll down this is going to show you the total stake value on this entire DeFi staking platform so as we move on down you can see we have two different slots liquidity mining and we have the just lend supply mining we're going to be doing the supply mining so now let's click on the just lend 
supply mining now these are on the same exact website this is just taking you here to a shortcut so if i scroll up a little bit as you can see now we are on the liquidity mining if you look on the top left okay so these are the same exact website so i don't want you to get confused it does take a little bit to get used to so if i just keep scrolling down without hitting the just supply mining i can just keep scrolling down you can see it's going to automatically be here all right so these are the exact same website but just lend supply mining is connected to another website which i'm going to show you so don't get confused all right and so as you can see here the just supply mining the difference between the two liquidity mining you have to combine two cryptocurrencies to add liquidity to a pool to, add, to get mining rewards for staking and then for just supply mining you only have to add the cryptocurrency itself to get the mining rewards for staking all right so for example so as we briefly look at tron you can see they're paying 3.99 percent for the total apy now these apys will fluctuate up and down depending on the current price of the cryptocurrency now one thing i want to explain to you you can see it just went down to 3.98 percent now these five cryptocurrencies that you see here you actually earn all five of these so even though you're only staking tron you're actually earning trx jst the wing token the sun token and btt all of these cryptocurrencies percentages actually make up this percentage here all right so i just want you guys to understand that and i actually like the ability that you can earn more than just one cryptocurrency so let me scroll down here briefly you can see you can stake bitcoin as well tether you can also stake uh, the stable coin you can also stake true usd stable coin the sun token which is paying close to 11 percent as we move down now we're getting to the wrapped btt which they're paying about 5.36 percent now i want to give you guys a tip as well so i'm gonna scroll down just a little bit more so you can see you can stake the wing token and you can also see how much is staked as well and one thing i really like is because with this 18%, you're actually earning almost 6% in TRX, you're earning over 1% in Wink Token, and you're earning over 3% in BTT. So just a quick tip, if you're wanting to earn the most in just BTT alone, I would probably uh, recommend using the Wink uh, mining pool. Reason being, if we scroll up to wrap BTT, even though you're only staking this, if you scroll here, you can see out of the 5% APY, you're only receiving about 0.86%, whereas if you uh, stake Wink, you can actually earn over 3% of the total APY. So definitely uh, keep that in mind. Now me personally, I do stake Wink and I do stake uh, Rat BTT. I stake both of those, but the reason why I'm staking Wink because I can actually acquire more BTT and I can also acquire other uh, cryptocurrencies as well. So I'm acquiring a lot of Tron and BTT for staking Wink, all right? And so now what we're gonna do, since you know kind of where to stake things, I'm gonna briefly show you what the JustLand Supply Mining main website actually looks like so let's briefly go over here so now we are on just land which is connected to sun.io now remember the website is down in the description for quick reference all right so now as you can see i don't have anything that is on the supply to earn any rewards currently and as i move down to the markets this is going to show me all of the individual cryptocurrencies which is the same exact on sun.io here as you can see trx bitcoin we have tether sun.io so forth and so on if i go back to just lynn it's going to be the exact same you know cryptocurrencies that this is actually connected to and as you can see it already has my rat btt uh quantity in here 287 so now i'm going to kind of show you guys how to actually stake you know btt or other cryptocurrencies so the same way that i'm actually staking my rat btt you're going to do the exact same way to stake other individual cryptocurrencies as long as you're using the regular just land supply mining so let's go ahead and dive into this so as we're on the just land website it gives you the supply apy and it also gives you the borrow apy because you can also borrow cryptocurrency for collateral and things like that as 
as well. So as we move on down, you can see it has my RAT BTT. All I'm gonna do is hit the supply button. And then what I wanna do is you have to approve RAT BTT with your wallet. That way you can validate and let the smart contract know that yes, I do want to supply my RAT BTT for mining and staking rewards. So we're gonna hit approve. And of course, we're gonna have the request transaction pop up. We're gonna hit accept. And so now the approval should go through. Now it is going through. If I want to supply this, you can see it has my wallet balance. It has the supply APY, which is about 5.41%. And you have the total amount supply, which is none right now. So if I hit the max amount, it's going to take all of my BTT. So that way I can start staking it. And then if I want to withdraw, of course, I would just do the max amount or type in however much I wanted to withdraw and do the exact same thing. Now, of course, I don't have anything in here just yet to do the withdrawal. All right. So before we actually hit the supply, I want to show you how to do it from sun.io. All right. And so this is the brief way how you can do it if you just want to use just lend but i'm also going to show you on sun.io because sun.io is going to take you directly to this website okay so let's go back to sun.io and we're going to scroll down to rat btt so what we're going to do is now hit select and now you can see of course it's going to have my wallet balance because it has connection to your chrome extension tron link wallet all right and so what i can do is hit the supply and i'm just going to do the max amount so we hit max we're going to hit supply and as you can see it's going to pull up my request signature again because you have to sign off on this we're going to hit accept and now transaction is submitted so i'm just going to hit the x button here and you can see my wallet balance is zero. So that lets me know that it is now staking. So if I just hit the withdraw, you can now see available to withdraw 287, you know, RAT BTT tokens. Now you can see it is already, you know, starting to earn. So this is going to start earning in real time. Okay. So real quick on your staking rewards, if you go to the upcoming, you're going to see automatically withdrawn to your wallet within a maximum of seven days after staking. There's nothing you have to do. You're going to automatically see it in your wallet. Now, remember, you may have to add that cryptocurrency to your Tronlink wallet by hitting the plus symbol in my assets all right and so what you want to do here is on the frozen part this is where you're going to see most of your rewards add up but it does take as you can see rewards will be partially unlocked and automatically withdrawn to your wallet once a week all rewards will be unlocked within six months okay so you will start to see this accumulating as well so now if i hit the x button you can see now it is showing my supply and my rewards and it's also going to show mining rewards as they start to accumulate so if i wanted to just hit manage and i wanted to hit withdraw it's not going to allow me to withdraw from sun.io because this is actually connected to just lend which is the site we looked at before this one and that's why i wanted to show you just lend so let's go ahead and check that out so i can either get to just lend by just hitting the withdraw rat btt on just lend or i can go to the actual website but i'm gonna just click this button here now, whenever you go back to just lend, you're going to see this window pop up. You can just hit the X button here because it's just uh, giving you alert. Do you want to add more supply or do you want to withdraw whatever you're staking? So we're just going to hit the X button here. And one thing I do want to show you this important reminder here. Please think twice before transferring tokens to a third party. Now, this is a third party DeFi staking platform. So keep in mind something could potentially happen to your cryptocurrency because you are putting it in a staking pool to receive rewards now me personally i do trust the platform now i'm not staking all of my cryptocurrency because of that very aspect but i don't think this is risky or anything i'm personally using it but i just wanted to uh, let you guys know be mindful of that you do have full access so you can definitely unstake at any time which is the good thing but i just want to stress that to you guys that this is a third party site but it is backed by justin sun himself so what we're going to go ahead and look at here as you can see i have my rat btt it's going to give me the total supply which is equivalent to one dollar and 19 cents which is 287 rat btt and this is going to show you uh everything that i have so if i click here it's going to pull up the withdrawal again or the supply we don't want that if i hit the my borrow 
I don't have anything I'm borrowing. And if I hit mining rewards, it's going to show you everything that you have upcoming and everything that you have frozen for staking uh, whatever cryptocurrency you're staking on just Lin. Okay. And if I click here, this is going to show you what the net APY is based off of my total supply, which is about 5.41% net APY. And you can see I have fraction, fraction, fraction of a penny already earning in real time just off of that dollar and 19 cents so this stuff will earn in real time and this is a great way to start earning passive income and one other tip i want to give you guys let's go back to sun.io let me exit out of here so some of you guys may be saying well man mike i want the whole 5.38 percent for rat btt well even though i know you're not getting all of btt as you can see it just changed to 5.4 you're getting all of these cryptocurrencies which are all at different price targets so remember when you're getting these cryptocurrencies if you don't want to keep them just go over to just swap remember this part here you don't have to exchange just tron everything that you can buy in exchange for you can do it the exact same way so let's just say i had some wing token that i didn't want and i want to exchange that for rap btt i will be able to do that let's just say i got some sun.io that i don't want and i want to exchange that for some rap btt or maybe i want to exchange that for some tron you have the ability to utilize this platform to exchange whatever cryptocurrency you want that runs on the Tron mainnet blockchain. All right, so that is how you stake BTT and other cryptocurrencies using DeFi staking platforms. Now, I have been using these platforms for a couple of months now, but I wanted to make sure this is something I was going to use and I wanted to be comfortable with it before I put it out to the public. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you did, definitely smash that like button and please share this out with someone you know so other people can learn and be fully equipped on how to start earning passive income. But hey, before getting out of here, definitely connect with me on Twitter and Instagram at Mike the Investor. If you haven't had a chance to check out the Patreon where you can ask me private and public questions, and I also post exclusive content that I only post inside of the Patreon, definitely consider checking it out. Link is in the description. That is all I got for you. Remember to stay inspired, stay motivated, always invest in yourself, and I'm out.